Oh, come on. Welcome back to T-Less Traveled. Today I'm in Elgin, Texas, playing the only disc golf course in town, Thomas Memorial Disc Golf Course. Let's get right to it. I'm trying to beat the sun. Hole one, 262 feet, par three. Basket is over there by the trees. Because of the low ceiling, I'm gonna go with an explorer and try to stay away from this pole because it scares me. Ooh, I probably should have gone with my less stable one because that skipped very far. Yeah, it's a pin high, but pretty long. Um, and this way, I guess I, looking back on it, probably could have done a turnover, but do not regret. I'm just trying to beat the sun. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I put it so hard I threw my head off. But hey, starting out with a par, nothing to be ashamed of. On the next hole. Hole two, 228 feet, par three. Right over there behind the picnic table and stuff. Oh, actually, that might be in front of it. Hard to tell, not wearing my glasses. But I'm going with the Mako three. We haven't been getting along lately, but I need to redeem him. That's gonna turn too much. That is very far, but not the right way. I tried to, I don't know if I'm too close for you. But I wanted to go on hyzer, and I'll look at it in post, but I think I got here and then stood up, which is a habit of mine. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of. All right, I can see myself there. This, this is a precarious placement. The basket is also missing a few chains. You can't tell from that side, but I can imagine it'd be real sad if he came out and some family was barbecuing here within circle one. Getting better angle control is on the docket because you know, these are things like this. I mean, if I had thrown straight, I'd be that far that way probably, but. Oh, that leaves me with the putt as well. Oh, that would have been pretty solid. All right, another par. Okay. On to the next. Hole three, par three, 352 feet. Behind that, soccer goal. So I thought about just trying to rip straight through it because I know from experience that if you go into the goal, it normally slips out the back. But I'm gonna try a little bit of hyzer, see if I can skip around that. Looks like turnover, totally out of the question because of the overhanging branches. I'm gonna pump this kind of out that way. A little bit of hyzer flat because it should come back. <clears throat> Or a lot of hyzer. Oh, go through the net, please. It did. I should have just aimed for that. I was like thinking about it. I was like, cool, we gotta stay leaned over, stay leaned over. And I think I just much more lean than I needed. Not too bad. Got through. Got, I got this little putt to go through. I tried to set you up in a way that you could see exactly what I'm putting, but I would just block it. So. Hope this suffices. Also, you can't tell this basket is jank. Like this, the chains lean a different way somehow. Top is real crooked. Let's put. There we go. Got our birdie. It's like you can tell, like the distance from here is very different from there. But, ooh, trees in the way. Glad to get that birdie. Hole four, par three, 223 feet. Going to the basket right over there. So if you're a madman, you can take the high ceiling, sorry, low ceiling, high floor. I'm gonna just hyzer around. Oh, that's too close. That's too close. Hit something and fall. Hit something and fell. That's gonna be a long putt, but dang, maybe I should have done it with the PA5 and just like gracefully. <clears throat> Out there. Oh wow, is that is that pretty good? I mean, that, that's actually really long, but hey, we're learning. I'm better at straight shots than hyzers, I'm learning. Or maybe I'm not better at straight shots. You guys tell me in the comments. Still learning all this stuff. It's only been a little over a year playing disc golf and figuring out how to build consistency. Come on, do it. <laughs> Let's go. 
Ooh, putting practice is paying off. Watch out, MA2. All right, hole five, par three, 232 feet. The basket is not the one right there. It's over there, so really makes me want to do a tomahawk, but I know you guys won't see that for the lighting and whatnot. So I think it's another hyzer, which is something I need to work on. So I think I'm gonna do it though with my chariot, because I really don't want to go too long. Just a lot of it, even if I feel more comfortable with the tomahawk. That's not gonna be close. I don't even know if you guys can see that actually. Oof, yeah, that's real bad. Thinking about it, probably should have kind of something flippy on hyzer so it would go around but then flip up so it'd be more straight. But uh, lessons learned. Just make another big putt. Ooh, the height was right. The height was right. That's why. Ha. Don't putt with mid ranges, kids. Hope my my thumbnail making skills got you here. And since it's Thomas, I'm probably gonna put like a it's almost a tank engine on this course. You gotta make clickbait if you want people to click. But I hope you stick around to watch some disc golf, see new courses that have never been filmed. Hole six, 209 feet. We're going to the basket right over there. Thought about using the other proxy, but I'm gonna give this one a go. I've just been throwing it straighter than normal, so I'm just gonna aim right at it. That was so low. Oh. Man, I keep forgetting I need to like wipe my hands off and think about it and that grip uh, plays into it. Not too bad. Also, I recognize the irony of me telling you thanks for sticking around and then throwing really bad shots. But uh, I do want to say it really does mean a lot. Um, just a couple days ago, this video dropped. There's a delay, so it's been a while, but I was just overwhelmed by your guys' really nice comments and just how much you like what I'm doing with the channel. And that, that seriously means a lot. Sometimes it's really hard to like put a lot of effort into a video, watch get like 27 views and whatnot, no comments, no likes. But yeah, like it really gave me a rejuvenation it felt and of like being you know, like man like people really like what i'm doing and so if you like what i'm doing please leave a comment subscribe i really appreciate it and uh let's try to make a putt to earn your sub uh, come on baby uh, low 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 hole seven 147 feet to the basket right over there a little bit of a run your ace, so that's what we're gonna try. Going to PA5, because it tends to be one I feel like I have the most control over. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go! gets old. That's only my third one. Well, fourth if you count the 45 foot one that you've probably seen by now. But oh my gosh. Whew. All right, that was awesome. I don't care who you are. In fact, you know, it's wide open. Still feels awesome. Next, we also have a wide open shot, 205 feet, par three. Switching discs. So I'm going to give a little more power and I don't want to turn into the building. Ah, I threw it too hard. Hit the railing and the building. I guess I'm just juiced up. <laughs> so there's nothing to say that this is in or out of bounds. So I'm gonna call it in. It may not be, but. Oh, that's way too high. Whoa. Oh, and a terrible roll. I changed my entire putt. 
has that little bit of the back. I should have just been confident, made my putt, and we got out of here. All right, flip the angle so you can see that. Oh, dang it, awkward footing. And I'm just like feeling the material, my shorts tugging at my legs and it's kind of annoying. But hey, so it goes, I'm amped up right now. I'm gonna take a moment to cool down, do the next hole. Hole nine, 264 feet, par three. Right over there, baseball field's probably OB. I'm just gonna try to rip it and grip it. I still feel super amped, so let's just see what happens. Oh, but come back. I also hope you guys can see that. I think that's probably short. It seemed farther than 262, but I took it at its word because it's dark. You guys can see better than I currently can. So we were not short. To my eye, I thought I had been close, but then I was like, ah, no, I don't think that is. But yeah, pretty close. Right in front of the basket, probably in its flight. A little bit of a tap in. Whew. Overall, good round. That bogey on the last hole, um, <laughs> Kind of funny, probably should have taken a little bit of time to calm down, my heart was still pounding. Just disc golf, man, it's something else. There's not quite like the feeling of seeing something buzz the basket, but especially go in the basket, it's just something to it. I played on my high school golf team, we were pretty good. Man, there's, there's something about disc golf. And this course, honestly, not too bad. The baskets could do some upgrade. They're like damaged, tilted, missing some chains. Um, and layouts may be a little bit confusing, especially if, if you didn't have U-Disc, I don't, it would be really hard to play just in general. But overall, I think it's a great little beginner course that make it fun for people of all ages. But uh, that's T-Less Traveled. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.